We're here again, people. We're here again. Episode number seven. Who am I joined by today? Familiar faces. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> Eli's getting whacked up on chest at the moment, brother. <laughs> it's a bit tense. <laughs> <laughs> Who oh, else boy. we got? Who we got in the back? Brandon checking in. Eli. Gary, Gary Kasparov, a.k.a. Eli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, with the chess pieces. First thing, yeah, I want to chat about, yeah, we've done Eli's answer today, Brandon, to mm. the question on every Arsenal fan's lips, yeah. Mm. Would you rather win the Europa League mm-hmm. and have Chelsea, yeah, no, Tottenham win the Champions League? Mm-hmm. Or would you rather Tottenham lose the Champions League if that means that you lose the Europa? Mm-hmm. Now, you said, mm-hmm. I'm going to stay in my own lane. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just win that that Europa, let them win the Champions League. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Eli said there's absolutely no weight on the planet yeah, that he's having Spurs win the Champions League if he had the choice. Mm-hmm. So that's the main topic of discussion. Why yeah, mm-hmm. do you think that way? Because you're the only Arsenal fan that I have spoken to mm-hmm. yeah, that has said that. Because winning the, us winning the Europa League, that's progress for our club. Spurs winning the Champions League, that's progress for their club. Good on them. But I ain't interested in their progress. I'm only interested in our progress. Simple. That's literally it. Like, there's not that. I can't even elaborate. It's mm. as simple as that. I don't give a fuck about Spurs' progress because I don't support Spurs. You understand? I get it. I get it. But history. I don't give a shit. For the that. crest, the badge, mate, and the shirt. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. My club needs to make inroads into moving forward and the only way to do that is by winning the Europa Eli your response um, yeah like I hear what Brandon's saying um, it's a bit deep I mean like winning the uh, winning the uh, Champions League is is major uh, it's a huge step for Spurs as well and look like they haven't won any leagues any any premierships and stuff like that so I guess we can still talk about that but at the same time it's a, it's a bit mad that they will win a Champions League before us. And but look, at the same time, uh, no, nah, no, nah, man, like, like they can't do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, man. Oh, sorry. man was trying to be logical, but, but nah, you just couldn't. Sorry. I can't, I can't really think of a, any good situation where they win. Um, but that's just me. That's just me being. Yeah, but the situation where they win is you winning the Europa League. Is that not worth it? Uh, Everyone's got their everyone. Everyone's got a different view on it. Um, I still want to win the Europa League. Say, look, I mean, and we played before them. So if we lose, then they have to lose. They have to lose. There's no way that we can lose the Europa League and then Spurs win the Champions League. That would just be a disaster. Oh, the ultimate violation. Yeah, that'll be too much. Like, what do you agree, Brandon? Oh well, if we if we if we lose yeah. the Europa and they win Champions League, yeah. But me, if we win on Wednesday, I don't give a flying fuck about what happens on Saturday. I don't give two shits. No, you don't care at all. You don't give a shit what happens. I don't give a shit. At all. I've just won the Europa League, fam. I don't give a fuck. You can only win what's in front of you. We ain't in the Champions League. You can't win the Champions League. So you have no feelings towards whether they win or not. Nope. We just won the Europa. That's hype. That is hype, bro. bro. You can't tell me how I feel. Bro. That's hype, man. Nope. That's hype. I wouldn't give a So the that. rivalry between Arsenal and Tottenham doesn't mean nothing to you, Brandon. No, it does. It does. Then you must. You care. My, no, no, no. That's a completely different question because my team <laughs> improving <laughs> means everything to me. My team making strides forward means everything. But that wasn't yeah, the question. That, you said the you, rivalry yes. between Arsenal but, and Spurs. But this, but this that, that doesn't come into the equation. For How does it not? But if they win the trophy that you've been asking, trying to win for yeah, years. Brandon, I can't lie. The you, scenario you gave, you're asking yeah. Me, yeah. You're asking me if I'm going to sacrifice my team winning a European trophy just for Spurs. No, 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 no. We no, passed no. on, point, we passed we passed on, on from that. that. The, the point you made, Brandon, yeah, and I've got to call you up on it, yeah. You said, yeah, if we win on Wednesday, yeah, I don't I don't give a fuck. Yes. Yeah, what happens in the Liverpool Tottenham game, yeah. They were your exact words. That was your exact words. And then my question I pitched to you was, yeah. So you don't give a fuck about the Tottenham Arsenal rivalry. But me not caring, That's what it sounds like. Me not caring about what happens on Wednesday does not mean I don't care about Arsenal Tottenham rivalry. Of course, every time we play Spurs, 
I want to beat Spurs more than I want to beat Chelsea or United or Crystal Palace or West Ham, of course. So do you only care about the rivalry when you're playing them? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't but outside of that, you don't outside care, of that, you don't what care about... Fam, how many times do I have to tell you? They man? finish above you fam. or whatever. I don't watch their lane. That, that's their lane, fam. That's them. They can do their thing. They can do their thing. If I'm winning the Europa, I don't give a fuck what happens, fam. As long as we beat them next year, we beat them twice. Like this year, we beat them once in the league and we drew once in the league. I'll take that. Bro. All I say, yeah, comment below, yeah, is Brandon a true Arsenal fan or not? <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> I think it's a bit questionable right now, still, you know wow. what I mean? Because I'm a United fan, yeah, and if Liverpool win the Champions League, yeah, it's going to hurt, fam. Trust Same me. way City winning the league hurt. You know, I mean, City winning the Champions League, fuck well, me, well, it's man. It's peak for you, man, because Liverpool are going to win that Champions League, fam. So. Yeah, but that's fine. At least we've won it before, do you know what I mean? If Spurs win it, yeah, mate, boy, oh my God, but I feel sorry for you, bro. It does not make them a bigger club than us. Mm. You can't even argue mm. that. You can't even argue. But they're that. en route. You they're en route. They got a better stadium than you. But it doesn't make them a bigger club. You can say that, like you said, they're en route, but they ain't there. So safe. Wow. That's yeah. actually a mad question. Does no, does Spurs <laughs> does Spurs win in the Champions League make them a bigger club than Arsenal? No, fam. Well, like, we'll question it this way: like, if City was to win the Champions League this year, would it make it a bigger squad than I mean, a bigger team than Man U? Of course not. If they yeah, if they had won the if we if City had won the quadruple this year, that would not have made them a bigger club than Manchester United. Yeah, but we're the greatest in English football. You know what I mean? Like, but they we won it all. They would <laughs> you know have just saying? done the biggest. And Ollie's at the wheel. They would have just done the biggest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, though that went to shit very quickly. They just they would have just done the biggest feat. This in is English why we don't like fans. Arsenal fans, yeah, because they talk the most pop, yeah, for a team that ain't won jack shit in that fucking. I'm 15 not even years, talking pop. I'm just saying. You I'm just saying. To me. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. You man, are but you know what they say? Yeah, you don't ever talk about religion, politics, or football around man then, bro, because they're getting to a scrap in it. So we'll look it off there. But like I said, comment below. It's brand. And a real Arsenal fan. <laughs> yeah, my vote, I'll put it down there. No, I don't think he is. That's very rich coming from a United fan who only went to Old Trafford for, for the first time. <laughs> 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 Alright, lock it off. Lock it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting heated now, bro. Come on. Come on now. Let's move on. Next topic, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what they say, yeah? Work hard, play <laughs> hard, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> he's, he's, he's glory hunting United fans. Bro. But to be fair, oh, first yeah. time I went OT 2018, mm-hmm. December the 26th, mm-hmm. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's first game mm-hmm. so it was actually 2018 that was my first game and then I went this year as well 2019 three times mm-hmm. yeah so my credentials are stacking up my credentials are stacking up but but we'll, we'll move on in it we'll move on from this year one thing I want to chat about is the importance yeah of social media in business do you know what I mean at the moment I was watching or I read it I listened to a podcast this morning from a luxury real estate broker in London and it was mad to see how it's affected his business. Like he's actually getting leads of people wanting to buy multi, multi million pound or Euro properties all across Europe and even states even just on the back or off the back of him posting content on his Instagram of the properties that he's in and the architecture, the interior design, that sort of thing. And I think it was just mad insightful to see how it's affecting that industry or somebody in that industry do you know what I mean now a lot of the people in my office we've been discussing like rah like uh, like should he really be posting um, like all this content of other people's houses on his Instagram and things like that is it really making a difference to his bottom line and obviously he's now come out and said yeah it's making a difference but I just find it interesting to see how even in that sector social media is changing things but like, what have you seen in other sectors? Like, we'll start with you. Obviously, you're in fashion. Like, how is it? I think social media. Yeah, well, I'll let you talk on that, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a it's like a crazy world for for fashion at the moment. I mean, um, just this week, I f- I went and bought some some trousers, some Maharishi trousers, um, from this like vintage store in Shoreditch. They've only been two months, yeah. But all they've done to promote the business is just like keep uh, an Instagram story like going every single day, like a minimum of like 15 posts on the story every day, a minimum of 15. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, you've got to think some shops in shop, like a lot of the shops down there, like their competitors, they don't even post one story. They don't, probably don't even have an Instagram, some of them. Do you know what I mean? And, um, Shout them out in it. Nineties back, obviously. I'll say, I'll say that that's their gram. Nineties back, and they run this thing called Nineties Back TV on their gram. And the way I found out about the trousers, I actually went down 
to buy was just from watching the story like one of my guys was on the story and he reposted it on his story like you can share a story you're tagged in so i went and checked it out because it was quite interesting the way the girl behind the camera was talking and stuff like that and then i saw the trousers that i went went to cop a few days later on that same story that day so that's that's a first-hand experience of the power of Instagram, like like some place that I never ever knew of. I ended up going and spending my, my hard-earned cash. Do you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and buying a, a little gem. So, in terms of like promoting businesses and connect a connection with fashion, it, it helps spread the word. Do you know what I mean? Well, let's say you're like you're not even a brand yet. Yeah? Like this is what I've been thinking of recently, and I've been doing a lot of research into like personal brands. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what I find amazing and fascinating about the space. It's like you no longer need to be. Or like somebody, the guy, the podcast that I watched, like the guy said it perfectly, innit? He's like, personal brands are actually, in a way, becoming more powerful than, um, what's, the, what's the other technical term? Personal brand and corporate brands, we'll say, yeah? So for example, like, you won't follow Virgin on Instagram, do you know what I mean? To see what Virgin, the company's doing. However, you may follow Sir Richard Branson on Instagram to see what he's up to in Necker Island and shit like that, do you know what I mean? And like all these personal brands, like Yeezy, that's a personal brand if you think about it. Obviously, it's in conjunction with Adidas, but it's Yeezy. Do you get what I'm saying? You have Kylie Jenner, you have Fenty, which is Rihanna. Like the personal brand is becoming mega. Do you know what I mean? I think that is why it's more important than ever to really be posting and creating content. Do you know what I mean? Of yourself and whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's just your life, like. The world we live in, it actually pays to be somebody on social media. Do you know what I mean? Which I think is quite interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> Even like locally, like um, like a, a guy that I went to school with called Chet, he started his brand Faded, and that's based off of him. Like people buy him. That was like a phrase that he would he would coin. Do you know what I mean? Just out and about. Um, maybe as a caption at first before stories and then when stories came in and say you know like we're out and the clubs are faded blah, blah 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 turned that into a clothing brand as as like a slogan word from his friendship group do you know what I mean and now like it's in Foot Asylum and he's selling mad tees do you know what I mean people are wearing it they don't even know the brand's connected to him they just saw it on the shelves but that's how big the brand has become do you know what I mean mm. like people are actually invested in it and, and they buy it because of him or also now because they like it as well so it's so true like personal brands like what you said about Fenty and Kylie like it's mad isn't it like billion on, dollar businesses spot on. just off like literally their personal brands but like what's your take on it though because like both of you well Eli used to do a, a few things here and there on social media like we were chatting about today and Brandon like you're not even really on that anymore so why like what's your take on it all obviously I know you see the, the power of it mm. But yeah, like what is your just opinion on the situation, the sector, and why are you not possibly utilising it as much as you should be? Mm. Like, in no way, shape or form do I not see the power in it. Like, I think it's amazing. I think it's sick because you can be anybody. Anyone can make something of themselves through the platform of social media and therefore create a business through that. Mm. And I think that's amazing. For me, it just never really appealed to me. Like Anton Krill always said, there's a million ways to make a billion dollars. Social media is now one of those very prominent ways that arguably anybody can do. Mm. Um, so a lot of people do do it. Personally, it's just never really appealed to me. I've always liked the idea, like that Al Heyman model. I've spoken to you about this. I've yeah. always liked that Al Heyman model of being that guy who, like you see on Insta every now and then, right? You'll see someone like Skepta tag somebody and then you'll go into their, uh, go to their page and they'll have like 800 followers. They're on private. Skepta follows them and another artist follows them. Maybe JME follows them. That's just That's just an example. So they must be, they're on something. Like they, they obviously serve a purpose to these important people. I've always preferred the idea of being like that person who serves a purpose to not necessarily people that are social media famous, mm. but I, I, I just don't like the idea. For me personally, I like the idea that Al Heyman model, that no face, no case. But what what is it What's about it that you don't like though? Like there's there's got to be something like if you see the the value in it, mm -hmm. yeah, and you can see that everything that you're doing now, you could be like I see it as sort of 
just an amplifier as to what you're doing. If you're doing trading, mm -hmm. but you're posting about your trading as well, mm -hmm. you're growing your social media just off the back of something that you love doing anyway. Mm -hmm. It doesn't impact your life in any way, really. You get less privacy. So that's what it is for you. That's then. what it is for me. It's the privacy. Yeah, you do get like there's there's no. I agree with that. You no, I agree with that. But I'm privacy. saying is that the main. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's literally it. Mm. Like I don't like the idea of. Now, obviously, don't get me wrong. If somebody came to me tomorrow and said, like, you can have 50 million followers and be, like, this mad famous person, I'll probably just say, yeah, fuck it. I'll mm. take it on the chin and run with it. Mm. Um, however, the sacrifice of privacy is not something that I'm willing to work for. I'd rather do my grind, make myself valuable uh, behind the scenes, quote, unquote, and do it that way and keep my privacy mm. that's that's literally all it is for me it's just the <clears throat> privacy thing man mm. it's genuinely just the privacy thing i don't like the idea of somebody being able to work out where i might be on a certain day and shit like that it's, that's it's that simple for me man. but at the same time i love it I, I'm, on, I'm on social media all the time for me it's one of the most powerful education tools mm. like i spoke to you the other day about it my feed like it went from years ago being full of things that don't necessarily fill my mind with the most positive thoughts right to now literally it's just gym trading uh the odd person who i'd look up to mm. um like the odd iconic person and football that's like literally it it's more of an educational mm, tool mm. for me now that's more than anything more than anything yeah what do you think eli i'm interested to hear your take because like carl said like you're similar to me on it yeah um, it's kind of it's kind of I don't know, like me, like I do like the whole behind the scenes stuff and I do, I do like that, like, it's a bit of a struggle. It's a bit of a struggle because sometimes I'm like, I've got a lot to say or I've got something that someone may want to hear. Mm -hmm. um, but then at the same time, I still want to be able to go to the corner shop and buy some milk or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I use that as the, uh, the cliche term because um, privacy is, I mean, it depends on what it is, isn't it? Like, you still want to just be able to just go around, isn't it? Just go about your daily life and not have it and not have anybody like really like like whatever like you just blending kind of a thing mm. like there's there's something in that i mean you you hear a lot of i don't know like um i don't know depends on what it is that you're famous for i guess isn't it depends on what it is that you're famous for if you're if you're um like if you're like a character say like you're an actor or something like that then that's a whole different type of fame than if you're just like a comedian or something or you know or even some comedians these days yeah like and to be fair like it depends isn't it i mean it's it's, it's kind of crazy to say look like so like like on my birthday sadiq khan was in the restaurant there with his family he's got like security guards and stuff like that i mean i, I actually want to be able to just have some lunch you know what i mean with my family i don't i, I don't need security guards you know what i mean like around me but that's just the life that it, it, it just has to be so mm. It, and and it kind of sucks like you can't just literally just say look let's just go out and have a meal it's like we it has to be organized and patterned and you know like planned and where you're gonna sit you know what and so if, like that. so for you you're saying it's like that's worth more like being able to just go to the supermarket get food or whatever like that's worth more than the other side of the coin, which is being big and it depends. Like I mean, making if you need, a shitload if you need, of money, possibly, if you need to be, potentially. If you need to be, if you need to be <clears> famous, <throat> like like if if the fame directly uh, links to your income, <clears throat> then of course you need to put food on the table, and it's just it's just something that you're just gonna have to sacrifice, isn't it? Yeah, like I would I yeah. completely agree. I think it's all dependent on where you plan your to have your income streams come from because yeah. mm. like in my head the way i have my vision of where my income streams will be i don't need social media for any of them I'd like admittedly admittedly social media could potentially act as a boost for every single one of them but i still don't need social media for any of them to be successful mm. what do you think of like this idea though yeah like they say this is something that i do think about a lot yeah like the saying is like like you die twice in it the first time you die is when like your physical body dies second time you die is when or is the last time somebody says your name mm -hmm. that's legacy do you know mm -hmm. what i mean basically mm -hmm. what the quote is sort of hinting at mm -hmm. so do you not is that not that important to you then see no for me legacy comes from family and bloodline i want to be that guy who's got a portrait painting on the wall like two three hundred years down the line my great 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 
grandkids still talk about me because I was the first one to make my name and my bloodline successful and mm. financially free. Like I, the goal is to provide for the grandkids that I will never ever see and mm, won't mm. even think, can't even fathom. Um, uh, so that's for me. That's the import. That's where the whole legacy importance is for me personally. Mm. I do understand. I completely get why. Uh, uh, people would be driven for that to be slightly more expansive so you wouldn't even need to have kids and you mm, wouldn't need mm. to have a family and have uh, those kind of um, mm. uh, oh, I've lost the I've lost the word those kind of um, what's the word mm. not morals it's what are your anyway yeah for me that's, that's for your me. yeah that's my leg that's where I, I plan to have my legacy Mm. What do you think? What about legacy? Yeah, like, do you... <clears throat> like, what do you think? Do you want your legacy to be through your family more so, like Brandon? Uh, I guess it's so subjective, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, everybody's so different when it comes because to legacy. Because you can't be wrong with it. Because like, it's your personal truth, truth, isn't it? Exactly. Like, some people want to, like, be spoken about to the end of time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's their prerogative. And then there's mm -hmm. other people, like you said, you just want a photo and painting on the wall in your family's house mm -hmm. for two, three hundred years. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think all of it does come from work, though. That's kind of the bottom line that I see because, like, if you've got the paint, the the portrait painting up on the wall, do you know what I mean? You've basically been like a, a Rockefeller or some shit like that. Like, you're, you're a legend. Like, you made the P. You put your family on. Like, the the bloodline is secure for for generations. Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or or again, if you're if you work as a creative and like you're fucking Alexander McQueen, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You made some iconic like runway collections then people are going to talk about that forever. Mm -hmm. On top of maybe the, the money that he got from it that was then handed down to his family, even though I don't think he had any offspring because he was homosexual. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Well, one thing I was saying earlier, yeah, just going back to, like, social media and personal brands and things like that, two things, in it? One thing, first thing would be, like, don't you think it's mad, like, how vlogs... I was saying this to you the other day, like, vlogs are the new reality TV shows. Mm -hmm. It's so true, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, I used to watch Geordie Shaw. I used to see Scotty T like banging these birds and fucking <laughs> having threesomes and shit like that. Yeah, all this madness. Yeah, and he's basically him with a GoPro. Yeah, like just going into clubs and just fucking some tarts, fam. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Pretty much. That's what he basically is. But obviously, the GoPro is the camera crew and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Like in the modern day, yeah, literally, like. Anyone can create a vlog, but it was so intriguing to watch Geordie Shaw, Geordie Shaw, Jersey Shaw, like all them early day TV shows. Do you know what I mean? Because you're just seeing how other people live day to day. Mm -hmm. But any of us in the whip now with a camera, yeah, and just some fucking motivation mm -hmm. could create our own Jersey Shaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of mad, isn't it? When you think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. And yeah. everybody's literally doing their own thing. Now, like, whoever's vlogging, like they're doing their own Jersey Shore, Geordie Shore, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when you look back, like reality TV, it's the exact same. I think that's crazy. But I was thinking uh, that another thing we were discussing as well was like, what do you think is the future for social media? Mm. Like after Instagram, obviously Instagram's popping now. Wait, was was it was we speaking about that the other night? Yeah, yeah, yeah yours. Yeah, I can't lie, the idea that you, the idea that you came up with, yeah, it's been on my mind still. It's quite serious. I think I caught it. Yeah, yeah I think you did. Well, what did you say? <clears throat> so I think like the next big social media platform, yeah, it's like like you know you have like oh that's Carter's Instagram or that's Carter's YouTube or that's Kaliva's Facebook, that's Elijah's Twitter. Like, why don't you just be that's Carter? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can see his business stuff on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. I can see his Twitter. I can see his YouTube. I can see his fucking Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Mm -hmm. All in one package, mm -hmm. just on one page. And whatever part of car you want to learn more about, you want to see what he's doing in business? Cool, you could go to his LinkedIn. You want to see what his thoughts are just on Twitter? You could do that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think the next one that really takes off, this is just a complete guess, yeah? Mm -hmm is something that is everything in All one. Do you know what I mean? Because there hasn't been anything like that yet. Mm -hmm. Like YouTube, you mentioned it, mm -hmm. they're sort of trying it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You've got stories on YouTube now and you've also got posts on a timeline on YouTube. Like a Twitter post, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But it's not like... It doesn't feel quite right because you go to YouTube, yeah. like you said the other night, you go to YouTube for the tube. You trust. Yeah. You, you go for the videos. Exactly. The name is ingrained like mm -hmm. Twitter. You, you know you go for the tweets. Mm -hmm. See, it could happen one of two ways. Like, there could, a company could 
effectively create that social media platform that offers uh, the best parts of every social media platform. Or you could get something like the Sonus app for social media, where you go in, where you go in to this one website, you go to at Carter Pennant, mm. and then you've got his Twitter, his Insta, mm. his YouTube, his LinkedIn, mm. you've got everything, and then you click, and then it has a nice interface where it merges all of them together. <coughs> I, That's, think, I yeah. can't lie, as soon as you said it, you know when some things just click, like, uh, yeah, it's the only logical next step. Mm. Uh, I've been thinking about like it. Like a so. social media dashboard. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think is the next big thing, you know. I think YouTube, I've, like, I think YouTube I've, I've got next still because you the amount of people, well. the, the amount of people that have come over from Instagram to YouTube, yeah, like a lot of models are doing YouTube now mm. who they never would have blinked That's an eye at it like a couple of years back. You know what I mean? They're vlogging all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? There's definitely a lot of value. And I feel like there's a lot, there's a different fan base obviously on all different social media platforms. So they're, it's, they're kind of trying to drink from all the different streams, do you know what I mean, as well. So that, that's one of the reasons for sure, but I also think YouTube in particular has a lot of value, do you know what I mean? There's a lot of, there's a lot of eyes on YouTube. Like maybe as much as Instagram. I don't know what's number one. Like like Gary V says Instagram is, right? Yeah, I'll say Insta's number one. Insta's number but one. But like what you're saying about YouTube, like guess, I guess it ties but in. The, yeah, the direction it's going with the, the Twitter kind of post, the stories it's got. Because to be honest, yeah, like, like when I see the, I'll read them like the kind of, they have like Instagram posts or like kind of like a tweet almost as well. And I read mm. them, like I see it on my, my timeline of people that I'm subscribed to. Like if I see a picture, I'll kind of read like, it's an update of when the next video is coming out, for example, or it could just be a general post, like, yeah. like have a nice day kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, like I'll, I'll read it. I, I might not necessarily like it. I think the problem is right now, they need to find a way that when you like a post, it, you, like those pictures or those videos there's also like an explore page as well or like you can see what <coughs> people are interested in that you that you're subscribed to do you know what i'm saying what do you think yeah, yeah i mean it's i mean it sounds it sounds i mean it sounds pretty good i mean it's definitely not going to go anywhere social media but it's going to be one of those ones where it's just going to end up being just part of everyday life you know it's almost it's going to get to the point that if you're doing something and you haven't got it, it's it's, it's almost a bit a bit weird, you know. So if you say, "Oh, like, um, I want to go, I want to," especially if you want to start something, if you want to start a business, I know people like, "Oh, yeah, but you haven't got your YouTube channel, you haven't got your Instagram channel, and so on and so forth." And pe uh, people may look at it and be like, "Nah, like, you don't really need that." But if you're if you're a creative and you want to and you want to do some type of business, it, it's pretty important to have. Um, some type of presence, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. online as well. Because honestly, how is anyone ever going to know about you if you don't if you don't if you don't go out there and post? And mm -hmm. I mean that uh, that's just the way that that it is. So it kind of goes like what Banu was saying. So say if it's like this: say you want to be a property developer, you don't need Instagram, you don't need YouTube, you really don't, you know, because you can just you like you don't need that to promote what you're doing like if you're buying and selling houses or you're buying and renovating houses and you want to put it out for renting like so you're getting a bunch of buy to let's yes really you don't know you, you don't need any social media um you can just go online you can find who the people are and you, you don't need to be posting anything of course it will boost your business and stuff but you don't really need it however if you're going to start a clothing line oh boy and you haven't got social media then, then good luck. There's no clothing line for. Then mm. good luck. There ain't no customers. There ain't no clothing line. Yeah, man. like I mean, apart from your close family and friends who will buy, mm. how, how is anyone gonna know about that clothing line? You know, how they're gonna be able to see it? So it's it's it, that is, it's gonna be integral to you doing that. So it depends on what you actually want to use it for. You know. See, I think like even with like the way I look at social media, and. <clears throat> how I wouldn't want to blow on it because of the privacy element, etc. I'd still use it as a business tool. Like, for example, let's say in a hypothetical world, this podcast blew up, yeah? My Instagram will be going on private quick. But obviously, when you're networking and shit, I'll be like, yeah, follow my Insta because I'll be posting on my Insta about what I do, this and that. It will still be uh, some sort of uh, business tool, but just more tight-knit for me personally mm. do, you, do you know do you know what i mean like kind of 
uh, I don't I don't really know how to put it like so going back to um, going back to the example that I used when you get people like Skepta you will at people their accounts will be on private and they'll have a few hundred people following them oh, but yeah, they're going to knock off <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what were you, you where were you at? On the floor? Yeah, um oh uh Yeah, the low key people that will get out of the last yeah. skepta, da di da di da. Like they still offer like they they they're still active on social media. So like for example, the guy who I'm thinking of as as an example, I can't remember his handle, but he had a few hundred followers, Skepta was following him over a few other famous people. And he had about a hundred and something posts, so he was clearly active, right? So the way I saw that was like, oh, okay. So you're offer, so you may be not necessarily offering a service through Instagram, but uh, demonstrating your value through Instagram. But not anybody can just come and see your value, and not anybody can just come and see what you offer and then ask for you to mm. offer it to them. You choose who you let come mm. and see it so i'll be networking with people oh yeah follow me on like somebody who are potentially valuable to me and my businesses oh yeah, yeah follow me on instagram you see what i do like i'll accept your request boom i already know that this is a this is a certified lead for example yeah, like, yeah, not, yeah. that's the only way i can really think of coining it um so it'd still be used as some sort of business medium i still think it's even on a smaller scale is very valuable but if you're not I, I feel like with my income streams that I plan to have I'm not looking to sell lo uh, products to a, a vast amount of people so I don't need a vast amount of people knowing what knowing my business makes sense yeah mm. Mm. yeah it's, it's yeah. interesting right? I can't disagree with what you say I can't like there's it's, nothing I can say because it's all personal mm, isn't it like but said, like even what you're saying yeah I think if you were on like an open account mm -hmm. and you were posting just about your life mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's what that's the way I see it. Do you know what I mean? I think no matter what you do, do you know what I mean? Like whether you don't want to sell products to anybody and use it as that medium, or if you just want to be a low-key guy and just network and like find other people who are valuable and mm -hmm. exchange values with them, mm -hmm. it still benefits you to grow on social media. It opens up new doors. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's the way I see it. Mm -hmm. Like that's why in my head, other than privacy, yeah, which is I don't know. I don't like in my head. It, like privacy isn't worth. There's just an opinion in it. Mm. Privacy is not worth what you can gain from. Or it's not worth the doors. Fucking, I can't even say this. Privacy. The privacy of not being on social media isn't worth the doors that it shuts potentially for you later down the road. Do you know what I mean? That's the way I see it. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't think that you got you have to vlog and do this and do that. But I think if you're a little bit active, do you know what I mean? Just talk about your day a little bit, like what you're doing, mm -hmm. what product projects you're working on, do you know what I mean? Like open doors for you. Do you know what I mean? More than anything. Mm -hmm. But again, see like I hear that and I can't disagree with it. Like mm. you said. And then but then I think to my about my income streams and what I plan my income streams to be and like my income streams like they okay one of them for example trading like that can't directly be boosted by social media like social but media can't make me a better trader just by just by letting people know what i'm doing but it can make you more money it can make me more money but that's the bottom line though sell, isn't it because i can sell things but it doesn't make me a better trader but it can make wait, wait, sorry sorry to mm -hmm. cut you off yeah it can make you more money this way as well mm -hmm. you're trading people see that you're doing well yeah on social media and stuff like that mm -hmm. what if a, a guy a billionaire comes along i want you to trade a million pounds on my money it's going to make you more money. That's, it's opened the door for yeah, you. That's a, that's a fair point. That's, a fair that's point. actually what I was thinking as well. Mm -hmm. Like managing a hedge fund, if you show like your your pips ratio and all mm -hmm. that stuff, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a, no, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fair point. And then, but then that go back to what brought me to trade it, and that's complete freedom. I don't want to have nothing to do with nobody. Like, I want to grow my account and compound it just me. You know what I mean? I, no, I get that, yeah, but... I, I, I can't... Dis I'm not mm, disagreeing mm, with you. Mm. I'm not disagreeing with you. It mm. just... It, it's all subjective. Mm. It's, very it's, subjective. All, it's very, very, very subjective. Like mm. you said earlier. But it's, uh, it's it's one of those ones where you could just go around in circles all day. Mm. All day. Mm. Like, it's not for everyone. Mm. It's not for everybody. And... Things like... I don't know, like, fame or not having the privacy. It affects people in different ways. So, 
I mean, some people are just built for it, and some people are not built for it, you know. Um, but at the same time, of course, it does open up a lot of doors and stuff like that. But I mean, even what, even what, even what we're doing now with like the podcast and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's almost contradicting what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of something like this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so it's a bit. I mean, look, like I guess you just have to just deal with it when it comes, right? I mean, if if the day comes and we're in, we're in like Foot Locker or something, and we just or we're in Brent Cross and we just want to buy or just or just get something to eat, and then someone says, "Oh, are you so and so from there?" That's the day that you're like, "Okay, okay," like it's actually that's actually what it's become now, mm. you know? When you're just doing your daily life, and so, someone just comes approach and stuff like that, then that's when you know, okay, cool, that like, this is something. It may not happen all all of the time, but um, but I can't disagree with both of you, really. I I agree with both of you. Um, you can't not in it. Yeah. It's yeah, just your personal yeah, truth, it's like personal choice and his personal opinion on it. And um, but you both acknowledge the fact that you both said that the pros and cons of of each. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, it's interesting, man. It's going to be interesting to see how the space develops over time as well. It'll be interesting to see how our views on it develop over time. Because, mm. like, I'm not going to sit here and be attached to my views and my like, philosophies, bro. We could have this conversation in a year's yeah. time. I could mm. be like, nah, fuck this, mate. I'm on Insta now. I'm posting every day. <laughs> that's what I think followers. will happen, yeah. If I had to you put money know. on it, I you think I think that's what will happen. You never know. Do you know man. what I mean? Yeah. Lot of let, give it give it a few years yeah we'll have Brandon who had the Brandon <laughs> podcast fam <laughs> having, having special guests on and this and the next one I'll be first guest in it you know what I mean return the favour about <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. what were you chatting about with Selly earlier oh. Eli um, yeah so me and Selly were talking earlier and um, and she just she, I, I, like I don't know how she put it as a question but she just said okay so like as guys um how, how would you feel or what would you do if say if you had a one night stand with a girl and you got her pregnant and she's like look i'm keeping it and your answer was we'll start with you well for me for me i mean like think to, to be fair like thank god i haven't been in that situation and i've and i've done my best to stay out of that kind of situation amen yeah. um <laughs> however i said look like if it happened and I got the and I got the girl pregnant, and she says she's keeping it. I'm I'm gonna have to do right by the child, you know, hundred percent. Like I mean, mm. I, 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 that's just the way that I'm doing. That's just the way that I'm looking at it. Cause I'd be I'd be I'd be pretty upset though, because um, at the same time I, I won't lie, because obviously from like my my parents weren't weren't together like that. Um, at least I, I can't remember. So. I'd be I'd be a bit upset, especially if like I didn't like there was no connection between me and the girl. It was just all sexual, and then like, well, obviously that's why we're having the one that stand right. But um, and then like the child's gonna grow up in that environment again because that's not what I want for my child. I don't want the whole oh yeah we're gonna go see your dad now and then we're gonna go see your mum now. I don't I didn't want I I, I, I don't really want that. I, I, I never I've never wanted that for my children because you know what I mean I'm trying to do I'm like I'm, I'm trying to do things a bit. A different slash better than um, my upbringing. That's the only thing I'll really be upset about. Really, that even though that's not what I wanted, but my child is going to have to grow up in that kind of a thing. Um, of course, unless uh, unless you and uh, unless me and the girl, or you know me, uh, unless me and the female just manage to I don't know, get something going on. But that's but that's but that's a bit far fetched. So, what would you want to happen though? Like, would you want like what would you would you be saying to her now? Like. I don't want you to keep it, to keep it, or would you say, you know what? Yeah, it's your choice, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Or would you say, no, I'll keep it. I want to have the. <laughs> well, I mean, like, like it's her. Look, look, like it's it's just. I don't know, actually, man. That's kind of mess. That, that, I mean, that's a mad question because. But this guy is sitting on the. No, 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 no. I can't lie. No, no, I'll no. do everything in my power to get her to abort it. Like, wow. like, I'm not. No, wow. No, 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 no. Don't even try to wow it like I'm coming on some forceful thing. I'm not going to be there like you have to. It's her body. Like, it's her choice at the end of the day. Uh. But, like, I still have a role to play in the situation. Like, mm. communication is the most powerful weapon of all, fam. So I'll be trying to make her see yeah. reason. No, but if she's like, like no, no, but if but if it's like she's keeping it, there, there's no ifs or buts about it. That's what Sally oh, was saying. That's the question. Yeah, that's like, a there's no ifs or buts. Like, fam. she's keeping this baby. That's a completely yeah. different question then. That's just the one. No, like to be fair, the question was like, 
like if you are in that situation yeah like if you had a one night stand and she said I'm keeping the baby what, yeah what, what would you, you do? what would you say though but, but if she's what there, would I say well obviously you're keeping it so like there's nothing I can say but, but if she's like oh what's your what's your take on it what do you think we should do like what would you say I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, uh, uh, this guy. Come on now, bruv. Will like, you tell her to get rid of it? Yeah, of course, bro. Of course. <laughs> of course bro. Are you mad, fam? Like, no, because like, there is a take on it as well. Stand, like, you know what? Yeah, like, you know what? I'm gonna leave it in your hands, fam. You know what I mean? I was the one who fucked up in a way. You know I'm gonna I mean? just tell her the same thing that. And I said, I said, look like, I mean, ugh, but I'm chatting West, bro. bro you're like, chatting right, so much. Pop, I'll be there, like, no, nah, like, I would love to have a baby with you. Let's get to know each other. No, 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 no. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. No, but what? No, but what? Like, what I'm saying is that the girl is adamant that she's keeping this baby. Like, there is nothing that you could really do. I mean, you know what I mean. Like without harming her to to stop her from having the baby, you know what I mean? Thinking like that, <laughs> like, like there's nothing that you could really do to stop her from having the baby. Put like, a morning after pill in her porridge. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> we'll move on god. from that one swiftly. <laughs> no, that's a that's a cast lyric, by the way, man. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. but like, so like, what? Saved but like, what? But, <laughs> Just about. but like, what I'm is it? I'm a music that, fan, guys. No, but what is it that you're gonna do? Like, she's she's having the baby. Like, they, there's no oh, get rid of it. Like, she's having the baby. I'll like, move to Dominica. What would you do then? What would you actually do? What would I actually do? I think yeah. See, I'm the same as him, man. You're spinning out, bro. You're chatting shit, fam. Man said you're, you're spinning. Gone. You're gonna move well, countries. Spinning, yeah. that. He's ducking. He's ducking. I, just, I, will, See, I would just. But, but like, I'm, yeah. I'm exactly the same as him. Like I grew up. Like admittedly, like I was very lucky. My parents, they're still friends and la di da di da. Mm. But they're not together. So whenever I've pictured me and my family, I've always pictured the whole cliche: waking up in the morning, the kids come downstairs, me and mum making breakfast, and they can see that it's a happy family kind mm, of thing. Mm. Yeah. But uh, nah, like that ain't. That's not gonna happen if you just impregnated the thing on a one night stand mm. so I have two options I either kind of bite the bullet compromise and just accept that it's going to be similar to what I had I'll make sure I stay cool with her and everything's civil so there's no issues and obviously the relationship between the two of us are patterned or I S out and you never see me in this country again, fam. Man changes his name to Nico and moves to Spain. Trust. <laughs> Nico like, Potter Johnson. They're the, only two. <laughs> <laughs> they're the only two options. What are your thoughts on the thing, though? <sighs> if, her, if that's her mindset, like, I'm keeping the... See, keeping if the she youth. has, like... It depends on where she's coming from. Because she could be there, like... Uh, oh, my mum aborted, like, three kids before me. So it's, like, I never really believed in it. It kind of scares me. Like, like, imagine if one of them was me. Like, she can, um, like, she can come from a situation... She can come from a perspective that I can understand. Mm. Then I hold my hands up. Like, okay, cool. Like, you've got to do you kind of thing. But mm -hmm. I'll be making my decision at home later that night, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, man. Get a coffee if and a piece of cake and sit around yeah. the table, bro. But if she's not coming at me with any... Like, if she, if she can't make me feel her reason and there's no and it's just pure like yeah what like, if she's like that though she's like you know what like it's your fault fam yeah I'm, like, I'm just it, gonna bro. have it to be a bitch then see you later fam. You, you skirt i'd have to <laughs> oh my lord you would skirt off to, so whoa, 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 what Probably. would you do i don't know man it's whoa, a sticky what would you, man do? One. What would you do what like, would you guys do you man are sitting there comfy asking the questions that like. yeah no i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what's right by the kid innit that doesn't mean that my hustle's gonna stop mm. and my life's gonna stop. Mm. Like she can live with the mums or he can live with the mums, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? I'll be outside. See, that will rub me up the wrong way, though, man. I want that happy family shit. I want um, that gay shit. No, I want that. Um, I'm have to take soft shit. Man. Take care of baby K, fam. You know? Yeah, you have to, uh, bruv. You have to, man. It's unfortunately, like, even, oh, if nah, I out, no, even if I asked out of the country, that the peas will still get spun, but. But this is the beauty of podcasting, yeah. Like I know it's cliche, like, but it's just it's just the whole idea of like, you know what I mean, like just me and the mums, like you know you know what I mean, like we're not we're just not together and stuff. That would that would that that would get me. I'll be honest, yeah, it would, would get me. It would get me, and that's just the real talk of it, you know. Yeah, but that's you know you know what that is, yeah. That's like a that's kind of ego, isn't it? In a way, do you know what I mean? Like, no, because like, cause, I, like no, I've lived it. I've lived that life, man, and is and is and it's rubbish in my opinion. Lie. In my in my opinion, it's rubbish. But in a way, for you to like, for you to not want that for your kid, it's almost like you hate your own life. Do you know what I mean? Instead of being grateful that you had your mum or you had your, your, your dad, do you know what I mean? Even, yeah, even if they were separated, do you know what I mean? 
I, I have to do better, innit? it? Exactly. That's just me. I'm sorry. I, I just have to do better. I, I have to do better than my mom and my dad. When it comes down to that, I just have to do better. Yeah, of course, like, like, of course, like they raised me and stuff like that. But yeah, like you you turned out all right. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the end of the world. It's a nice chat. No, no, but even like, even my mum says it like, like, and that's just something that, um, especially like in like obviously like my mum, my mum was very religious and stuff like that, and like she just says it like, like you have to be greater than us. Like you you have to be greater than me. You have to be richer than me. Like, like that's a lot of pressure, though, man. That's a lot of pressure to have on 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 one's life. You don't think? I I think I think yeah. There's people that are in marriages. Yeah. There's there's uh, husband and wife yeah who are mother and father. Yeah. You know what I mean? So ha- ha- that was kind of mixed up. Let me let, let me just cut in there. All right, all right. I'm not saying that it has to be marriage. Like I'm not saying that oh, I have to have the marriage and stuff like that. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that at all. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be marriage, but Oh, me- there's there's what I was gonna say was yeah, like well this is my example anyway, do you know what I mean? Like like there's there's people that are in a relationship, like man and woman, yeah, girlfriend, boyfriend, they have the kid, do you know what I mean? They have that ideal situation that we're all kind of talking about. Um and the the thought of it is the only glue in that relationship. Do you get what I'm saying? So that whole premise was the only glue of them being together at at that stage. Is when they had the kid. Do you know what I mean? Like they had the kid, and now, now they're like, shit, we've got to stay together because that's what that was my dream. You know, that's the way I envisioned things were going. But actually, the relationship between the man and the woman are deteriorating. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think, in a way, you could like like. But that's uh, on the man and the no, woman. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's completely like, different. If it's a one, to, night, no, if it's a one night stand thing, like, like huh? I'm not. If it's a one night stand thing, like, I'm not gonna be with her, innit? Like, because I let. I, I said unless some far fetched stuff happens down down the line. So there's it, 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 like there's no let's make it work kind of thing, right? It's not. It's, it's not gonna be that. Actually, I've got a mad question. Yeah, like, so is it possible for you to wife your girl that was a one night stand? That's a, that just changes everything. Cause, cause, yeah. cause. Well, wifey, get what? Like, well, like, and she's pregnant, or just wifey her? No, she's I'm just, just saying, like, you just had the one night stand with this girl, and then, like, like, would you date her again, or like, is that it? Like, because you've had the one night stand, is there no way you could I'd date her, to... and she could turn into your girlfriend? Blood. They do a history search, for and then decide. Well, one night stand, yeah, fam. Depends. It's just she, it's something it's, I'm gonna say, yeah. It's one night stands a but, regular thing for her. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something I'm gonna say, yeah. Mm. It's a famous song, and we, and we all know the song, bro. <laughs> you cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> if she's a hoe from beginning, she's a hoe for life. <laughs> bro, that's just it, bro. Well, so you would have had a girl who's a one night stand. I, well, I had a one night So I met the girl in the club. Yeah, and you yeah. had a one night stand. I met the girl in the club. Yeah. I, lay, I lay her on, I took her down. Yeah. And I'm my I'm wife the ting. Yeah. Jesus. No. All right, let me ask you a question, yeah, because this is uh, this no. is something I've always been unsure of, yeah. Let's say you like you met a girl what about out. Who me? Oh, Boy, yeah. to be honest with you, I would I, like it's it's very very subjective to the situation, you know what I mean? Like if it was so like Bob, it's a one night stand fam. Like, what <laughs> yeah. subjective fam? No, but cuz I see it like this though, yeah. Like fam, like imagine if you met this thing out, in it. And it's all happened to us before. You've met a girl before and the connection is just bang. Like you feel it straight away. You're chatting to her. Her vibe is, is completely in sync with your vibe. Do you know what I mean? You're vibing, you're harmonizing on a mad level. Mm. And you're thinking, rah, this girl is a G. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And meanwhile, she's thinking, rah, you're a fucking G as a guy as well. Do you know what I mean? Like you just have a mad chemistry from the off. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then throughout the night, you're drinking and the chemistry's just vibing, vibing, vibing. Next thing you know, one thing leads to another. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But in your head, you're like, bro, that girl's actually a G. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You're thinking, you know what? Yeah, cool, fair enough. It was quick, but there was a reason for the quickness. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. We hit it off straight away. Yeah. And like, I can feel that energy. I can feel that vibe, in it. Mm-hmm. You're telling me that, sh- that she's a hoe. Maybe you're the first guy she's ever done that with. Obviously, yeah, see, that's that what is, you're saying. Yeah, that history the game, check. Exactly. History but you, Eli, like, no, what have like, you got to say like, to that? It's a cool story and it's, <laughs> and it's, and it's a cool story. Like, wow. You say it's a fairy tale, fam. Honestly, it's not, like, bruv. It's not. It's, it's, not, not, a, it's, not, it's not, not. It sounds like a fairy tale. I don't think it's it not, is, bruv. I can't, I can't lie. I've lived it still. I'm sorry. No, I've like, no, like, we've all been in, like, we've, we've all been in, 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 in that situation, yeah, but the thing about it is that. As I said, it's a bit like like everything that you said is like is like the perfect night, bro. Like 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 the perfect night. Yeah, but it's it's a question. Like, do you know what I mean? And it, it, your your answer was a black and white answer. Do you know what I mean? No, Which, because no, because you put it on like oh, there has to be a lot of like there's a lot of pros 
to to the one night stand. I I'm just saying, look, you you went out clubbing, you met the ting, you like the ting, you're talking, whatever. You bring it home, you do the business, you wake up the next day, and then you both go about 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 your business. But you're saying, mate, like as soon as your eyes connected, it was it was it was <laughs> it was it was it, 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 it was the moonlight. Like that's what you're saying. Like we, we which is cool. Yeah, like, but what are you gonna you do it, though? When you put it in that context, of course, like it's it sounds cool. Like, but like I said, if it's just if it's just sexual and and you're and you're and you're just getting and you're just getting the beat, then why 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 are you gonna wife her for it? Like, does she even want to be wifed? You know what I mean? Does she even want to be wife? But like you're just like, oh yeah, we went out to the club. Yeah, I see, met the girl. Like, the girl. Subjective. The girls. The girls. Like yeah, like yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a cool story, but <laughs> nah, fam. Nah, nah. I I know. Like the reason why I asked the question was because I know some guys that even if they had like a girl that was so into them, do you know what I mean? That's the reason why they went for the one night stand. Like it's not something that they would normally actually do. Do you know what I mean? But when they met this particular guy, yeah. They just like they they were so attracted to them. They liked them that much. Do you know what I mean? That like it was easy for them to do it. They felt that comfortable around the guy that they they could do it like off the bat. Do you know on what night mean? one. On on night one, they liked him that much that they were willing to maybe sacrifice like their morals or something that they they said they would never do or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like I I think yeah like 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 there's some guys yeah that would say because she slept with me on the one on the first night I could I could never wife her because I couldn't trust her because I would think she's done it in the past. Do you know what I mean? But then there's another there's another flip side to it that they've met a girl that they're really into and the girl rates them that much that they like she was that comfortable to to have sex with them and stuff like that like that quick do you know what I mean like it was a mutual thing or whatever and and then they can grow from that place do you know what I mean mm. so I know there's like two sides to that coin and obviously I think Eli's on that that first no, side like, of like, no, like, no, like, like, like if she gives it up like, on the first night yeah no, like, then she's not a certain girl full stop no, no she's yeah, not, she's not yeah, a certain because girl yeah, because you're like I'm on, I'm on both sides of it like because oh, no, you can't no, say that now no 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 it's one of the other Eli's still no, mind no, no, uh, not like that, yeah, because like we are looking at it from from the guys from the guys' perspective, like, but also from the girls' perspective, like, she she may not want to be wifed, bro. Like, no, but what she, if she does? She, what she, if she, may, does? she may just want. She, that's what we're talking. We're that's talking, what we're talking. Yeah, yeah, the question yeah, was really talk from a man's perspective. The question was this year: really? Would you wife a girl? Yeah, that you've had if, a one night. Yeah, sandwich? that was yeah, it. Like, Simple. And your answer was hell no. See, I like, wouldn't. If, nah. Yeah. Nah, man. I'm sorry. Like, whatever. Like, well, I'm a. I'm a hold on that corner. You guys can be wife in one night stands. It's cool. You know what I mean? Oh. It's cool. It's cool. And you know what I mean? I'm going to still shake her hand. It, it is what it is. Oh, like, my word. I'm going to still, shake, See, but still like, shake the hand. But, but the like, fairy tale story that you gave, yeah, like, let's say that was to happen. I'll be doing everything in my power not to have a one night stand. Just flipping it on his head. Yeah. I, know that, I know that kind of defeats the whole point of the question. Mm. But, like, if you're vibing that hard, yeah, but I'm, I'm not having a one night stand, fam. Like you I'm hold your corner. I'm prolonging the thing. Yeah. Steep, steep, it's deep. Like if it, if it's that, if I'm genuinely looking. Yeah, but at what this, if she's on it though? Would you look at her differently? Potentially, potentially. Like if she was pushing for it, if she was pushing for the first night. Preach, from. If she's pushing <laughs> for the first, if she's pushing for the first night beat, then preach. that changes everything. Preach. Preach. Really? That changes everything. Preach. Yeah, but but like I'm fine. But this is my response. See, but yeah? then again, it depends on how she's pushing. Is she come? Is she pushing like a hoe, or is she pushing? Or am I getting the vibe? No, she's she pushing pushin subtly, innit? She pushing subtly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. This is fairy tale stuff, man. This is fairy tale. That's fairy tale. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. She pushes something. She pushes something. It's not. It's not, fam. Like, I've actually lived there. Like, she's batting the eyelids. Come on. Then, if she's pushing subtly, then I'll. Push away subtly and like, but tomorrow, like they're, innit? They're, wake up tomorrow. They've made it easy for you to just say yes. No, no but yeah, this like is what I think, yeah. I'm gonna come I'm gonna come out here, yeah, like and, and, and back the the females on this one, yeah. Mm. Like you're saying, oh is she pushing da, 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 da. Do you know what I mean? Like, are you not chatting to in her in a way that's making her wanna push her? Do you get what I'm saying? You think she's attractive, mm. like she could be wife, mm. but I'm not gonna have sex with her. Do you on know what I mean? Night. We although, tomorrow, although I'm gonna move her, I'm gonna try and demonstrate my value. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm prove like I'm, like I'm a guy that she should be with. Mm -hmm. So are you not kind of like? Bro. Is the sex needed to wife, bro? Yeah, like, I don't need to fuck <laughs> it on the first night. Is the sex needed to yeah, wife? Yeah, but why are you? But why are you trying to make her attracted? And then you're gonna say it's an issue if she wants to fuck you. See, but initially you're making her attracted. You're not necessarily, and you're not necessarily moving to a girl in a club straight away. Like I'm looking to wife you. Obviously, the initial attraction building is just you being in a club, being a man, part of the mating ritual. You're trying to choose as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. I agree with if that. You, you know what I mean? Like, into, when I chat to people. If you get into that combo and she turns out to be 
what you're making out to be like essentially the one and then she starts pushing for like, let's go to yours da 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 if that's coming if i'm if i catch the vibe that this ain't normal and then maybe it can run but if I catch the vibe like that she's pushing, like if, I, if I'm thinking those thoughts, like, okay, she could be wife, and then she starts pushing, like this is a normal thing for her and she's on it and like she's pushing, then I will start to think differently. Straight mm, up. Mm. Because that changes a lot for me personally. No, of course, yeah. Like, like if you're in that, s- that scenario where like, like it's getting a bit progressive and it kind of feels natural to her, like she, she's been here before, mm-hmm. then you know, like, mm-hmm. like, yeah, that's like the, she, she is like, a hoe fan. Like, like, you know what I mean? But if, if it goes the other way, where it's like, she's kind of like starry-eyed over you, do you know what I mean? And she's very touchy-feely, because she's into you, like she's she's just like in awe of you in and a way. Do you know what I mean? You as well, fam. Huh? And where is she touching yeah. you as well? Because like we've all had situations where girls move savage in a club, fam. They don't care what they grab and where they grab. If she's moving like that, she can get the fuck out. I'll just take it home, do the thing, and safe. Plus, mm. also like it does depend on you yourself. Like like so, say say for me, like I, I don't need to um, like like if I just met you and you really like me or whatever, like, like I don't need you to to be overly sexual for me to like you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really need the one night stand, especially if I'm, gonna, if I'm thinking about wifeing you and stuff like that. Like, mm. I just don't need it. That's me personally. I don't need it. Some guys may need it just for the validation, but I don't need that validation. Like, I really don't. What do you mean? I so like, oh, like, oh, so you, like. You're saying some, some, girl, some guys are, need to beat girls for validation. Like, yeah, like, okay, like, yeah, like I'm a wifey you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but. I, I don't need it like so if I'm talk, talking to a girl and I think oh yeah like this like this could be potential and and she's not like oh yeah like even if it's subtly ch- trying to go down a, a, that line and like, I don't need that like, I'd rather just know who you are and what you're on and everything like that because I mean look like at the at, at the same time like it's all the same really you know what I mean so but it's more about the substance like I don't really need that one night stand to say like because like if it's a case of oh if the girl really likes you then she has a one night stand or does that mean that you, you're not going to like her and stuff like that no like not really because I don't need that but for some guys it, like they may not put too much value or like too much stock into it you what because she didn't have a one night stand yeah like so like so like so, so someone could be watching this now going oh mate like um, if if she's wifey then 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 she has to be dropping the drawers on the first day like you know what I mean there be, there, there could be some guys like that I'm not like that like she, she should have to drop the drawers <laughs> on the first day yeah like you know what I mean like but for me it's, it's not really like that you know what I mean but for some guys like whatever like maybe like yeah like if she's going to be wifey and if she's into me like the way that Carter is saying that, that she is then damn like like she has to be dropping the drawers bro you know what I mean so it's preference but for me it's not like it's more it's more it's more substance like the the sex is going to come regardless anyway like, sex gets boring quick fam. yeah it's going to come regardless <laughs> but like, it's, it, it, time, it's, it's like what happens after the sex like you know what I mean take time mm-hmm. what do you think makes a powerful relationship mm. alignment because you just said the sex get boring the sex gets boring quick mm-hmm. do you know what I mean so what is it that will keep you there fam from a man's perspective, yeah, so innit? Question, Obviously, there's four four men in the whip, yeah. It's a big question. It is a big it's question. But for you, innit? It's subjective. Yeah, it's subjective. But it's for all you. in the state of mind, fam. It's all you in, think? It's all in the state of mind for me, bro. Like, I could I could love you and you, the physical version. I could love the physical you for eternity. And I could be attracted to the physical you for eternity. <clears> as long as you're switching the right buttons in me mentally. Like, the, the, I, I could never get bored. Mm. If you are mentally stimulating me, mm. makes sense. Yeah, but I think I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, and obviously I'll ask you the question, but I'm a yeah, you answer, answer rhetorically. Yeah, so. in a way, like I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. However, at the same time, don't you think that you need to create yourself instead of her just create? Do you know what I mean? Because you're saying it's all in the mental stimulation, mm-hmm. but don't you need to create some of that mental stimulation? about her for yourself I instead of her just create the I don't mental quite understand the do you get what i'm saying i get what you're saying do you, do you feel like you have to sometimes control the your thoughts upon her yeah cuz like you're saying you, like, your view of her almost do you know exactly. what i mean instead of like and like instead of just being here and preying her and saying well today she hasn't stimulated me do you, do you know, know what i mean, mean? Like, like don't you, you have, you have to, to create kind of, some of that stimulation you have to have yourself. a good perspective of her yeah do you know what i mean 
I still don't quite get the question, but this may answer it. Because, like, I believe that me as the guy, like, I'm responsible for, like, whatever our... Whatever the outcome is of our communication, if we've had, if we've communicated, if me and this girl have communicated and it's uh, ended badly, that's on me. If it's ended well, I'll take responsibility for that as well, right? I'll, I'll take the good. Fucking hell, mate! Shit's hard. Because it's got no battery. You know? um, yeah, I believe I'm responsible for it. Ninety percent, ninety-five percent of, of the, the what? How the relationship is? Yeah, like and how. Uh, whatever the vibe is between the two of us, I believe I'm responsible for it. Because if she comes home from work and she's had a long day, and I'm just there, like, oh, fuck you. Like, I can't be asked for your mood. No, like, I take responsibility. I have to bring you out of that workspace and improve your day. That's my job. That's my job to do. So, mm. you, you following? Yeah. Um, cause I, but like I said, I don't really understand the question of... I don't really understand what you're asking I don't know if that answers it in any way. Kind of, kind of. You know what, yeah? We're going to have to wrap this up, man. Mm -hmm. I can see the camera is beeping. <laughs> it's the longest episode we've done yet, but Bubble. we were deep in the rabbit hole. But this we'll conversation this here, next, for next episode, one, we have to... Yeah, 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 this one's mad. You know what I mean? It's like Eddie Bravo conspiracies, bruv. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> It has to be carried on. So The one whole of women, boy. Do you get what I'm saying? Like It's a big, to it's a big topic, isn't it? Especially if it's like us man in the whip as well. It's mm -hmm. good to see our perspective get some females on the show as well see what they're saying but we'll leave it at that I hope you've enjoyed hit the like button subscribe at Kaleva Graham K-A-L-E-V-A G-R-A-M you know what I'm saying and don't forget to comment as well let us know what you thought of the, the fucking uh, podcast I'm going to say vlog <laughs> what you got to say Plug your stuff, man I'm plugging my stuff yeah. um, although you want to be like Al here, man. he's comment, on private comment, comment, comment below tell us what you think oh he didn't even plug his gram <laughs> It's uh, Nico Potter Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, he's fled the country, fam. After he had a, after he had a thing with Sophie Knows Better, fam. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Willie. Yeah, comment, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Eli TV. <laughs> <laughs> If you watch my vlog, boy. <laughs> and, and don't hide your kid from the world, yeah? Hide the world from your kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know where I stay, man. Caught up in on Instagram. Soon be caught up in on Twitter. Soon be uploading this to YouTube, so you'll get that soon as well, innit? In a bit.